Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin kung paano nga pa mag-apply ng mayor's permit para sa iyong apartment. Hello mga tangay! Hello friends! Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, I'm Janice. I'm a retired OFW and this video is part of our apartment business tips. It's a series that we have on this channel to help our fellow OFW investors no, or OFI who are landlords who have rental apartments, condominium units, or uh, who are renting out their homes no, so that they will know the best practices in the rental industry so they can up their game and of course grow their business this video po is a highly requested one and i really would like to ask forgiveness no patawarin niyo po ako dahil alam ko matagal-tagal na tong um, nire-request uh, i think two months ago uh, it was first requested by hi mabu tv he is keith kenneth daria he's an architect in qatar at ang sami niya that time was pauwi na sila ng january para mag-apply ng business permit kasi magfo-for good na sila sila na yung magma-manage ng kanilang apartment. Ngayon, January, magkakalahati ng January, sorry po, patawad. Um, ngayong buwan po ang application ng mga business permit, usually yung renewal, but any time of the year pwede ka na mag mag-apply. Ano po ba ang mayor's permit? Basically, ang mayor's permit or in other places it may be called mayor's business permit or business permit, it's granted by the city government to any individual or corporation or ano ba, mga partnership no to operate a business legally in that territory or in that area. So sa amin po, sa Puerto Princesa City, kukuha kami ng business permit sa aming city hall. In the same way, ganun din po sa inyo kung saan yung city hall nyo or yung munisipyo nyo, dun po kayo kukuha ng mayor's permit. It just proves na legal po ang inyong negosyo. Kayo ay uh, kinikilala ng ating gobyerno. Uh, kayo po ay nagbabayad ng buwis at kayo ay nag operate ng legal. So it's really important that we apply for a mayor's permit, business permit for your rental apartment. Minsan may nagsasabi, eh ano naman siya, tirahan lang naman siya, residential naman siya, but still it's a business. Kumukuha ng pera sa iba, kumbaga they are paying you for the service. No? The service in this case is the place that they are renting, the place that they have for them to stay. So yun po yung service nyo. So merong exchange Nang, nang goods, no? yung bayad dun sa service. So, it's a business. So, I highly suggest po na kumuha po tayo ng mayor's permit para openly we can operate our business. Now, ang mayor's permit po ay from January to December of that year lang siya valid. Pagdating ng January, magre-renew ka ulit. Pero what if, let's say, natapos ang apartment mo ng March, pwede ka na mag-apply ng March. Pero ang validity lang niya is from March to December. So basically, all business permits will expire by December. Iba naman po siya sa DTI. No? So sa DTI registration or certification, it's valid for 5 years. Now, ano po ba yung dapat nating uh, gawin sa pag-apply ng mayor's permit? In our case po, natapos ang aming ABG apartments noong late September, uh, late 2016. Pero na-applyan lang po namin siya ng mayor's permit noong pagbakasyon namin noong May 2017 kasi kami ang nag-asikasa ng lahat. Pwede naman namin i-authorize yung aming father-in-law but we wanted to do our we wanted to do it ourselves because we knew that we were going home anyway. So sabi namin sige, pag-uwi na lang namin. But if you're an OFW, you can authorize a loved one or relative to do it for you. Magbigay lang po kayo ng Authorization letter, tanungin nyo sa city nyo kung ano yung nire-require. Sa ngayon po, medyo nagde-develop na po yung ating mga local government units. Ano? Meron nang nag-offer ng application online, meron ding renewal online. In our case, it's just a renewal so we can do it online. But here in our city, if it's a new application, then you need to go to the city hall to apply for a mayor's permit. So ano po ba yung una yung kailangan? Please take note that these are requirements here in Puerto Princesa City. It may be different in your town or in your city, in your province, but usually halos magkakamukha lang naman po ito. Siguro may mga pa konti, konti lang na difference, but uh, standard naman po yung requirements na yan. Ano? Check nyo na lang po sa city nyo or sa government kung ano yung mga itadagdag. But in this case po, before you do anything else, you first need to get your occupancy permit. 
that's the first thing that you do. Um, I'll give you the requirements for the occupancy permit later, pero kakailanganin niyo po yan for the mayor's permit. Actually, ito pong occupancy permit yung medyo mas madugo kumpara sa iba pa. Uh, kasi the rest, madali na lang. So, uh, kapag mag apply ka na po ng mayor's permit, ang pinakaunang gagawin talaga is you register with the DTI first, Department of Trade and Industry. Kukuha ka po doon ng iyong um, kung bagay yung business name mo, i-register mo na. Maghanda po kayo ng tatlong pangalan kasi kapag may kaparehas ka na sa ibang parte ng Pilipinas, hindi mo na po yun pwedeng kunin. In our case, we named it as ABG. Yung una namin choice was, I think, Francisco Apartments. If I'm not mistaken, andito yung aming ano yung papel namin. I think Francisco Apartments because my husband is a Francisco. So, Francisco Apartments yung first choice namin. And then, naging um, ABG Apartments, yung next. And then, yung pangatlo. Ganito pa yung form before. Yung brown pa siya. 2017 pa to. So, Francisco Apartments and then ABG Apartments. And, and then, our third choice was ABG Francisco Apartments. Francisco, because Francisco is his last name. ABG, it's all by grace. Meaning, what we had, yung apartment na yun, it's all by the grace of God. And then, yung ABG Francisco Apartments, kasi lang gusto lang namin na may option pa. And then, ang pipiliin nyo po ay nasa city municipality yung business nyo kasi doon mo lang na maitara yung apartment mo. Actually, pwede nga barangay. Kasi kapag ka barangay lang siya, ang babayaran mo ay 200 lang. Kung city or municipality, 500. Kung regional, 1,000. And then, yung national is 2,000. So, the best option is barangay lang or city ask your uh, DTI representative kung or DTI official no kung ano yung best so in that case um ilalagay niyo na rin po doon yung contact information etc etc so basically kapag mabayaran niyo ang um, kasi ang ipapakita dito is ano ka ba sole proprietor meaning isa ka lang may ari or may kasama ka ba yan so i-decide niyo po yan pagdating po doon dapat alam niyo na and then magbabayad na rin kayo um, and then, madali lang po siya. Kasi today, we registered our new business by God's grace po, no? Dalawa yung ni-register namin today sa DTI. At on, on the spot, nakuha na rin namin yung DTI certificate. Parang uh, 15 minutes lang kami doon, nakuha na namin siya agad. Online, you can do that as well. Madali lang. After you register with DTI, dalhin nyo lang po yun at... Uh, pumunta na po kayo sa barangay kung saan nasasakupan yung business nyo. Tama ba? Punta na po kayo sa barangay kung saan nakalocate ang business nyo. So, in our case, nasa San Pedro siya. So, pumunta kami doon. Kukuha ka po ng barangay business clearance. Now, it depends on your barangay what they require. Usually, they require yung DTI, valid ID, proof of address na talagang nasa barangay nila yun. How do you say, how do you um, prove your address? Kung sarili mo siyang pag-aari, yung land title, or kung nag-rent ka, well, hindi ka nag-rent kasi in this case, apartment pa siya, no? So, land title is okay. And then, yun nga, valid ID. Pag nakuha mo na yung business clearance, barangay business clearance or certificate, usually yan, 100, may iba, medyo mas mataas. Like, in this case, may barangay dito, 1,000 daw. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Punta na po kayo sa City Hall at kayo po ay bibigyan ng form. Actually, downloadable din yung form na yun sa kanilang website. And you can... You can even fill out the form before going to the city hall kasi mas mabilis. Kesa naman sa kukuha pa lang kayo ng form doon, saka kayo magsusulat, no? Sa city hall po, kasama ng accomplished form ay i-require kayo ng inyong DTI certificate, yung barangay certificate, occupancy permit, and then yung valid ID. Depende pa po sa, sa ano nyo. Yung occupancy permit ay kukunin nyo na yun beforehand. Ang occupancy po, medyo madugo. That can be an, another video, no? Basically, ang nire-require po dito yung construction, yung construction plans, yung blueprint before kayo ng build and then yung as-built plan. Ibig sabihin nun, nung, na, nung nagawa na siya, bigyan mo kami ng plano na as-built kung paano mo siya kinumpleto. Kasi minsan, may nababago sa design. So, in our case, may nabago sa design. So, as-built, gumawa ng panibago. But, if your apartment was constructed as is, yun na po yung uh, ibibigay ninyo. Siyempre, kuha rin kayo ng form, if you fill out nyo yung form, and then you need photocopies of your building permit, 
yung PTR, yung registration ng, ng engineer at yung allied professionals na nag-design ng inyong design at pumirma ng inyong building per uh, ng inyong mga construction yung mga drawing no yung mga blueprint and then valid ID ng owner if you are authorized by the owner then you need to have a, an authorization letter and then fire safety inspection certificate logbook ng daily activities actually hindi na kami ni require no nung nag-apply kami pero dito nakalagay siya and then picture ng building front rear left and right no yung pinaka kung makikita mo yung building and then folder uh, minsan nag-request sila ko ng klaseng folder man yun sila na yung bahala so basically yung occup occupancy permit is a permit granted to the owner of the building that he can start letting people stay in that apartment kasi wala na siyang kahit na anong fire hazard lahat ng fire extinguisher yung fire exit na ando na maayos yung sanitation meron ng etc etc so ibig sabihin lang pwede na siyang tirahan so once nakuha niyo na po yun if file nyo na po lahat itong forms no, na hinihingi nila. Actually, kapag ka ikaw ay um, nag apply nito, means uh, yung husband ko, no, nire-require nila na yung, yung employee or kung sino man yung owner ng apartment ay merong SSS, Phil Health, and Pag-ibig. So, yun, uh, kailangan bayad ka rin for, for that particular year. And then, after nyo po makuha yung mayor's permit, uh, hindi ko na matandaan kung gaano katagal, pero Nagbakasyon kami noon at hindi siya matagal. Nakuha rin namin siya agad. I don't remember how long. Siguro ngayon nagbago na rin. Ano. Sa amin, ang target ng aming city mayor ay dapat on the same day yata. I'm not sure. Pero sa kanya gusto niya mabilisan kasi apuradong administrasyon siya. So we'll see. Pag nag-apply na kami ng mayor's permit ulit, tingnan natin kung gana siya katagal. Medyo mas madugo lang talaga kapag ka-apartment compared to other businesses like halimbawa, food and beverage or retail retail shop ka, mas mabilis yun makakuha kumpara sa apartment. Kasi yung apartment, syempre, tinitingnan nila kung, kung habitable na ba at safe na ba siyang tirahan. So, once meron ka na nun, punta ka na sa BIR, mag-register ka na. Same din ang kailangan nila doon. Kailangan mo rin ng DTI, barangay certificate, yung mayor's business permit, proof of address, filled out form na 1901 valid ID, in our case, nag-seminar, pinag-seminar pa po yung asawa ko at uh, pinasign siya ng pagpapagawa ng official receipt. Kasi syempre, kailangan mo ng official receipt whenever you are collecting, no? Um, kailangan bigyan nyo sila ng official receipt. Naka-ledger din po ito dahil uh, chinecheck din po ito ng BIR. Although, hindi pa kami na-check. Now, magkano ang ginastas namin? Every year, we allot 15,000 pesos uh, sa aming mayor's permit no every january po yung aming bin uh, na 15,000 chini check ko kung para saan yung 15,000 meron na akong nakitang resibo rito so ganito po yung lahat no makikita dito ayan uh, ss ito ay certification na occupancy permit and then May isa pang occupancy permit. Ito, annual building inspection fee. Yan, kung magkano yung babayaran mo. Health certificate, babayaran mo pa rin yan. Sanitary permit. And then, may checklist sila. Sanitary inspection, kasi inspect nila kung sumusunod ka ba. And then, ito po yung fire safety inspection certificate na ibibigay nila sa'yo, required to. Para sa occupancy permit, this is the mayor's permit, 2020. Ito yung, teka lang. And then, ito, yung binayaran namin, meron kaming binayaran 10,960. Kasama na dito yung tax real estate na 5,445. Although, updated kami lagi, lagi kami nagbabayad. Pero, hindi ko lang bakit meron pa tong 5,445. Hmm, i-check ko na lang ulit. Mayor's permit ay actually 1,500 lang siya. General business license sticker, 60 pesos. Ito po yun. Ah, saan yun? Yung pinakita ko kanina, yan. 60 pesos pala to. <laughs> okay. And then, garbage fee. Woo! May bayad pa yung garbage fee. Garbage fee is 1,750. Certification fee, RPT, real property tax. Certification fee, business tax, 100 Zoning fee, 300. Fire safety inspection, 75. Annual building inspection fee, 1,000. 
ah, 530 sanitary inspection fee, 1,000 health fee, 100. So, may iba pa kaming binayarin kagaya nito. Hindi ko alam kung bakit may ganito pa to. Mayroon pang FPS seminar 3. But all in all, ito ay real tax, FSI fee. Hindi ko na alam kung bakit. Pero ito ay binayad sa fire station. 3,102. Kailangan ko pa maipakita. Basta yun. Yan yung mga babayaran nyo. So, mag-alot na lang kayo ng 15,000. 15 to 20, depending on how big your apartment is. Uh, this is the barangay certification. Hindi ko alam kung ma-appreciate niyo ba na ginaganyan ko. Siguro ipakita ko na lang ng close-up, no? Yan. And then, your occupancy certificate looks like this. Yung occupancy permit namin ay 2016 pa. <laughs> Yan. Nakuha namin September 2016. So, basically, that's it. And this is the BTI registration mag expire na siya ng 2022 kasi 2017 namin siya kinuha. So, basically, that's it. Gano'n ba kahirap mag-apply ng business permit? Well, if you have all the documents ready, then you can just give it to them. Ang pinakamahirap lang is yung mga pila, lalo na ngayon, ano, pandemic. So, kailangan may social distancing pa rin. Uh, usually, marami na yung tao pagka 9 o'clock. So, kailangan nakapila ka. Make sure you have your pens with you. Make sure that you have your papers all in one folder so that walang mawawala. And just take note of the process so that the next year you know what to do. Keep all your original documents in that I hope, I hope that this video is very helpful if you have any other questions. Obviously, you know, this is in Puerto Princesa. It may be or it might be different in your case. Pero maliliit lang naman yung difference. Kasi pare-parehas lang naman talaga yung proseso ng mga LGU. Um, yeah, that's it. Yan po, ano, experience namin before. Nagawa namin siya during our vacation. I'm sure it's easier now than before. Dahil lahat naman ng LGUs ay gustong maging mas streamlined yung kanilang processes. Siguro mas mapapabaga lang siya dahil nga medyo meron pa tayong dinideal na pandemic. But that's it for us. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions na kaya kong sagitin, please drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.